Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, in this long video uh, I'm going to give you the forecast for the O12 star sign for the period that marks the uh, new moon in Aries happening at 5th of April this year. And now I'm going to shuffle the cards for Aries. These readings are going to be three card readings uh, for uh, the method is uh, as per usual elemental dignities. And uh, before we go to the, uh, to the forecast into the spreads, uh, should you want a, a personal reading, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services, uh, including their pricings, which are starting from uh, just $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the live readings. And uh, if you um, observe the services a little bit closer, you're going to find, uh, I think the third one, it is uh, the uh, personal tarot reports for the full and new moon. It's basically like a subscription for a month where you're going to get the next couple um, lunar phases, a personal, personalized reports for you, video-wise that is. I haven't included uh, bigger subscription uh, frames, you know, like two, three months, because usually when people come to me and ask for a, a higher subscription period, I give them a discount and uh, it depends on, you know, how much uh, months you will want to subscribe. That will depend on the, uh, on the discount that is. So that is the reason. So if you want a longer period of subscription, don't hesitate to contact me through the through the contact form into the website and we are going to figure something out. So that being said, going into Aries first, let's see what you got guys. So the prime card here of the uh, lunar cycle that is going to be the page of uh, pentacles, the um, first catalyst card, this is going to be the ace of cups and the second catalyst card that is going to be the king of swords. So uh, this cycle itself, uh, it's going to be marked under, how can I place it? Well, this cycle for you, Aresis, is going to be a, a cycle of, uh, should I say, love. Here displayed by these couple of cards, very powerful passive supporters here is what we do have. They display that throughout the cycle, you're going to have some sort of a devotion, some sort of an, an agenda, a, a long-term goal that you are to chase, most likely a goal which is going to form and materialize itself very uh, unexpectedly, that is, especially for those Aries which are uh, going through a rough time, that is truly going to be like a, a oasis into the desert, like a salvation point and so on and so forth. Also, these couple of cards here may display a bigger emotions in between friends. Some of you Aries uh, could even decide, you know, to found a relationship with a friend of yours, the in intimate one that is. Um, you have to be uh, as well aware, if that's the case, that this relationship is not going to be something like a friend with, with benefits, at least not for that person which is around you. Therefore, sh should you make such a commitment around, and you have to be rather quite, um, how can I place it? Let me hold the cards a little bit uh, on that side. So you got to be... Uh, Determine, you know, that uh, this really that you are to put an effort in there to build up the relationship. But uh, this card here forms a passive uh, enemies with the page, and it does look like that uh, you are to be how do you call it a, a drunk from the opportunity forward, not having the clear mind to thought through what kind of actions should you take um, forward, that is. And not that there is a, a bit of a, a big of um, madness here that you can do something really, really stupid, but the, the danger that these cards, this formation here oppose is that you may do things or make things much harder to yourself than these things needs to be. So should you find yourself into a bit more complex situation throughout this uh, couple of weeks period of time, starting from April 5th, uh, spending a bit time to uh, analyze the situation is going to pay off a big time because with the King of Swords analysis truly reveals to you the way out of the difficulties. 
So that was uh, for Aries. Now let me shuffle and see what, by the way, this uh, period of time, uh, the, the new moon, let me, ch uh, in Aries, let me check when it ends in the 19th of April. So from 5th to 19th of April, uh, should you find yourself, like I said, into a bit of a, um, complex or complicated situation, uh, then it will benefit you quite a lot if you spend the time to analyze it, because as I said, analysis reveals the way out of difficulties. Uh, otherwise, uh, with the page and the king, Aries says, uh, you jeopardize your respect to be on the line, in a sense of the people who have respect in you, they, that kind of respect may diminish seeing you know that you lack sobriety regarding the uh, the situation itself. So next one uh, that will be Taurus. Uh, let me switch to the um, to the screen here. Okay, so Taurus is the first card for you guys. That is to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the first ca catalyst here. That will be the Queen of Cups, and the second catalyst that we do have. Uh, this is going to be the Two of Swords. So uh, it does look like that you are to receive quite a lot of support throughout the week, emotionally support that is, from this person here, the Queen, it's a catalyst of yours. And uh, she really, uh, I'm saying she because most likely that is a, an older woman than you are. <clears throat> But again, it's an older person than you are. And they, that person truly feels what you're going through. And uh, unfortunately, they cannot give you um, much of a, uh, a material help that you require. But basically means that they cannot jump into actions with you, you know, and help you to traverse your difficulties. But they can truly um, kind of like dive deep into your human nature and give you the emotional support you do require. Either you're going, for example, through a tough heartbreak um, <clears throat> and therefore a tough heartache here uh, that person who is going to diminish the pain that you're experiencing or for example uh, something in your career isn't working very well obviously that person can't help you in there but they can motivate you you know to don't to, to not plummet into a, a despondent state with the seven of pentacles here uh, and and the queen of uh, cups also you may learn a secret a very important secret which is going to give you an, an edge over a certain situation. However, because we do have the two of swords from this side, formation is passive enemies. It means, guys, that you should use the correct timing to reveal that secret or to use the information that you receive from the secret into your advantage. At uh, the very least here, it seems that there will be very important event for you throughout this uh, week uh, with these couple of cards, the Seven of Pentacles, in the Two of Swords, a very, very important uh, event, which from 5th of April is going to lurk behind the corner and it will kind of like, you know, invade your environment. It's going to be a positive event. It will allow you to stir your situations, especially those situations which are in a severe health there, but it will require a right timing from your behalf in order to, uh, you know, capitalize on it on its maximum extent. And having the Seven of Pentacles on the prime uh, on a prime um, position here, it does mean that your efforts should justify the means, or the means should justify the efforts. Therefore, you shouldn't waste money, time, or even performance into any kind of endeavors that does not promise anything great out of them. So that was uh, the uh, Taurus. Now let me let's see what uh, awaits Gemini. Okay, so Gemini is the first card for you guys that is going to be the moon. Catalyst from one side, we do have the Four of Swords. Catalyst from the other, wow, that is going to be the uh, Ten of Swords. So we do have two formations which are uh, a passive neutrals here with the moon and the Four Swords and moon and the Ten Swords. Uh, it does look like that this is going to be a rather unfavorable time for you to make any actions whatsoever because the time itself is going to be... Um, 
I would say insecure and unstable. It may not affect you directly here with the Moon card and the Four of Swords, but you are to experience its instability. Just to give you a straight away an example here, you know, your, let's say, partner into relationship may experiencing difficulties on another front and they may tell you, you know, that uh, uh, they need a little bit of a time off. It does not depend on you, but yet creates a, a sense of insecurity. The thing here with these cards, however, guys, is that you may be prone to make some drastic actions in order to fix that insecurity, which is a, a thing that you should not do whatsoever because it's going to jeopardize the prolonged future future moving on forward. With the Moon card, especially having two catalysts here marking the uh, passive neutrals, it means that you just have to go with the, for with the flow and walk that path which is shrouded in mist or in darkness here, incapable of you seeing where that path goes. But in the same time, it is the path that you need to walk until the end without provoking a um, an actions, especially with the Ten of Swords, you strain for the Moon card, provoking drastic actions here to improve your circumstances. But what happens, Ten of Swords hits and you kind of has to suffer a, a tremendous loss. The other, the other version that the card displays, Four of Swords, completes inactivity. You just, you know, close yourself indoors. Don't do uh, any responsibility that you signed for. And, you know, you are going to be isolated and you are going to be set into seclusion. Therefore, what the, what the appropriate action here with these cards is just go with the ordinary plan that you do have in between, uh, you know, that you do have beforehand. 5th of April and just do what you're supposed to do, attend to your responsibility. Yeah, uh, responsibilities. Yeah, I mean, things may uh, look a little bit unsolid, unsecured, uh, even jeopardized at some point. But at the end of the road, you are to see that all those worries were in vain. And one another thing I want to tell you here, Gemini's, is that you should not fall into uh, a fallacious fantasies. Which may, uh, which may basically drive you to uh, chase unrealistic goals. So just go with your plans, guys, despite of what the surrounding is. And eventually you are to end up in a place where you are supposed to be. So that was about Gemini. Now let's see what, um, what cancers are to experience throughout uh, this couple of weeks period of time. 5th of April to uh, 19th of April 2019. Was it 19th? I think so. Yeah, it was 19th. All right, so Cancer's Five of Swords is the first card for you guys. Then we do have the Four of Pentacles, which is the first catalyst, and the uh, High Priestess, which is the second catalyst. So from one side, we do have active enemies. From the other side, we do have active neutrals. So uh, especially with these active enemies, you have to be very careful uh, what kind of people you're surrounding yourself with because these couple of cards could signify betrayal of a friend. It's, it's sad, but it's kind of true with those, uh, with those two. You know, a friend of yours, it's truly uh, knocks you off your balance, your, your comfort zone through either a betrayal, and especially that betrayal could be linked here with money. They ask you for a certain amount of money, and then, you know, they just bail out and they say, hey, but they will never pay you. And you can, you, if you want, you can go to court, but if you don't have a signed contract, the court is not going to kind of like judge into your favor. So you have to be very careful with your friends at that point. As well, <clears throat> on a positive end with those couple of cards, you are, may realize that you do have bigger capabilities, therefore expanding, you know, your, your limits either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. But it will require some bold actions here with the Five of Swords and as well some uh, uh, 
some for forlorning a certain positions or certain people if that makes sense so you do realize you know that you can be more successful into your um, social circle life but that cannot happen with the same social circle so therefore you have to forlorn it and move into a, a new one however with the high priestess here and the five of uh, swords active neutrals basically what these cards points is that the time for actions has came for you to chase a, a long-term deliberate goal. Uh, the chase itself or the advance forward toward that goal is gonna be difficult. It will require, I would say, ruthless actions, you know, at, at certain points. And also it will require a, a tremendous effort, but eventually the victory is going to be achieved. However, because they are active, uh, active neutrals, it's, is this victory going to be sweet or bitter? I Well, that is yet to be determined. So when you deliberate it and defined your goal, long time deliberate it, uh, if the goal is meant to destroy, destruction is what you're going to have. If the goal is meant to uh, create creation, it is what is going, which is what is you going to have. What cost, however, well, that is yet to be determined. So from all the things in the equation, the cost is not well um, defined. So be mindful when you charge yourself toward that goal, because it may cost you more than you can actually know. So that was about Cancer, now going to Leo. Uh, by the way, once again, guys, if you want a personal report, personalized reports for the full and new moon um, cycles, you can go to my website and you are going to see there the uh, service. I think it's the, is the third one uh, at, the, at the upper row, uh, left to right. And uh, the reports personalized are with more cards. It's actually a, a five card tarot spread. Uh, before I was using that spread to do also these uh, general reports, but it's really heavy one and it takes a lot of time and uh, it, it drains me. So that's why I switched it with this uh, universal elemental dignity spread. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope that you find it resourceful, should I say. So Leo's the first card for you that is going to be the Queen of Swords, which is the prime card. One catalyst that we do have is uh, the Nine of Cups and the second catalyst that we do have, this is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have a person coming around for you guys in these couple of uh, weeks and that is going to be the prime uh, goal of yours. Uh, or kind of like the prime subject of yours. This person, a very emancipating, very assertive, very, very experienced person. Uh, you are to have some critics, however, from that person that you aren't doing things correctly or that you are sitting way too long at the same place that you are right now and you do need improvement. How? Well, that person is going to show you how. Are you going to do it? Well, that depends entirely on you because that is from these couple of cards. But when we look at the next um, combination here, which forms a active neutrals, it does look like that you do not you that you do need, but um, how can I display it? Um, you can further improve your state of productivity and your state of good fortune as well, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. It just is going to take a, a tough and hard work. Maybe at this point you're watching the reading because it, it, it is coming kind of like more earlier than the, uh, than the 5th of April. You may not know what I'm talking about, but when the 5th of April hits and that person comes around 5th, 6th, 7th of April, you know, that is the prime subject and kind of criticize you for, for something you are, you are not doing. It's most likely going to be for something that you are not doing, that you are not adding to your, uh, to your environment, into your means of being productive. And as soon as you do so, then you will have a, um, you will have a room or rather like a, a, a way for you to capital, not, not capitalize, but secure 
on this uh, on this new endeavor and traverse its productivity from short lasting one into a uh, long lasting one but definitely is going to uh, look like your life is fulfilled is definitely is going to look like that uh, some of your wishes are coming true and as well uh, a lot of content abundance as well and, and and joyfulness sensual joyfulness it is what you are to experience should you follow the criticism and the guidance of, of this woman one, one second, one card just fell down here, guys. Okay, so uh, that was for Leos. Now going to Virgo. All right, so Virgo is the first card for you. That is going to be the uh, King of uh, the King of Cups, guys. Oops. Then we do have first catalyst, which is going to be the uh, hierophant. It's very uncomfortable. I don't know why the camera shoots more to the to this side rather than to this side. It's it's kind of awkward. Uh, so the the th the third card that we do have for you as a catalyst that is going to be the eight of swords. So prime card, king of cups. Then we do have. Um, the, the Hermit, which is one of the catalyst formation that is to be passive friends. And then we do have passive neutrals here with the Eight of Swords. So uh, what uh, you are to receive in this uh, Virgos, in this uh, lunar cycle, it is a, a very, very tempting offer or a, a proposition for help from this person. Very balanced, very experienced, someone who ha is capable of deep feelings. So it could be as well related to a uh, uh, an emotional attachment, but in the same time, he does not allow that person does not allow their their feelings to dictate the rules. And uh, with that being said, uh, it's gonna this cycle is going to involve a lot of intelligently defined decisions made by you and a lot of wisdom incorporated in your actions. So you can definitely focus based on that, on what is substantial in your life, like your new path into your career or new way to improve your relationship or to make new relationship. Because these couple of cards, guys, always says that there will be a, a new direction of yours, either a prime direction, like I said, new relationship or a secondary type or how can I place it? Um, Yeah, it's kind of like a uh, sub direction, meaning that I, a new way to tackle with your relationship, but is to be a, a very well found um, implication of oneself into the environment. So uh, that could be a, a proposition for a promotion, you know, tempting offer for a new job. It could be a help coming around the um, defined to make you traverse a uh, very big difficulties which are going to be self-imposed that is basically with with these three cards for you Virgo it does look like that uh, this the, the show up of this person the stepping out of this person is going to stir your life is going to stir your environment and if you are uh, if you don't know what to what you're doing right now or what to do to improve your circumstances or to improve your life well when that person steps out into this new moon in Aries cycle it seems that everything is going to start making more and more sense and as I said as you make those intelligent and wise decisions that you'll be how focusing on what is substantial for you uh, that will severely stir your situation and your soul for that is so that was about Virgo now let me shuffle once again and we go to Libra All right, so Libra is the first card for you, the prime card that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by this first catalyst here, which is the uh, Page of Cups. And then the second, wow, then the second catalyst that is going to be the Six of Cups. My God. So we do have double passive support, uh, passive friends here with these cards, and especially with this passive friends. 
Uh, all of these cards could mean many, many things, guys, from a romantic interest, truly shared emotional connection for you, Libras. You know, you are going to like that person physically, emotionally, and everything is going to be beautiful to a, a very good preparations for a, a major, major change coming in your life. But whatever the thing is, guys, uh, whatever the, the situation is, well, either way is going to be a, a major uh, change in your life. It's going to be a thing that is going to make you go back on track, basically flow with the currents. And no longer problems that you are facing right now uh, are going to be relevant when that thing comes around. However, at that point, when you start going with the current itself. It will be important that you attend to the overview rather than to the minor details, minor ir irritating details. It will require from you to display your youthful spirit and your uh, creative nature as well. Critical self-assessment, it will be required self-realization. It will be required so you can adopt the new necessary standpoints and positions which this change that it is looming on the horizon requires from you. Uh, a, a cycle with a dappled with a lot of creativity, a cycle dappled with a lot of, of, of exhilarating um, events and moments for you, they will, they will not be chained, all right? They will not be a, a, a kind of like provoked by one single thing, but the whole cycle, it seems that is going to have many small enterprises which are going to make you laugh, which are going to make you smile and have a content and joy. It's, it will be a wonderful, wonderful cycle for you, Libras. Uh, I don't see with these cards any problems you are to have into your career should you not, however, trespass the boundaries of, of the hierarchy. Meaning, you know, do not uh, cut any corners or when you have to do something and that something needs to go through your supervisor, just, just do the things the ordinary way and everything should be very, very good for you. But yeah, throughout this uh, lunar cycle, guys, you can expect a lot of content, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and as well, the, uh, you are to be forewarned for a big positive change coming in and you will have the time and the means to take the, the required positions to make the required adaptations in order to utilize yourself maximum or to utilize the maximum out of this change which is coming on the horizon and like i said this card would signify see, a huge lot of interest you know or a, a very big job coming around so that was about libras now let's see what we fell as scorpios are to uh are to have 5th of april to 19th of april 2019 All right, so the first one that is to be the prime card, guys, is uh, Justice, followed by the second, the first catalyst here, or the second card, we do have the Two of Pentacles, <laughs> and the uh, third card that we do have, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, or the second catalyst. So both catalysts forms a, a double active, uh, active enemies here, and this card, uh, these cards basically points that you got to focus on your current goals, okay? The way that you, Scorpio, created your plan or the way that you thought, well, it's, it's difficult to explain it. Well, basically, you have everything figured out and now it, this lunar cycle, April 5th to April 19th, is going to define, are you be able to make it or are you be able to break it? Should you be um, accountable enough should you not strain from responsibilities, you know, should you do things the way that they have been planned, then everything is going to go according to the plan and you are going to reap the fruits of your labor. Should you try to make excuses, you know, should you try to scamper around, should you not go according to your plan, should you seek a, another way of how you can, you know, figure things out, then things are not going to turn out very, very well for you. I very well know what these cards mean for me. Um, it's 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 a just confirmation for me that whatever I planned for April, it's gonna bear results, and you will be a witness to that, guys. 
but uh, it will define it will be different for every single uh, Scorpio especially uh, one more thing I want to say about these cards Scorpios is that if you are going through some sort of a, 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 a low case you know court suit and so on and so forth uh, it seems that the um, the maneuvers the sneaky and nefarious maneuvers made by either of the sides is not going to bear any results it's simply justice is going to be served big time okay but uh, you cannot, uh, we, Scorpio, cannot hope for new, I, I mean new, circumstances to uh, further our goal, you know, for new opportunities or for, uh, how can I place it, for happy coincidences coming out of nowhere that is going to improve our situation on our own accord. We pretty much have everything, like I said, figured out. We lay down our foundations here and now it's time for us to take responsibility for that. One thing I want to advise you here, Scorpios, when we do have these cards is that you should be very accountable for your actions and construct your priorities correct start from the small things one thing at the time do not try to um, deal with everything at once all right one thing at the time slow heart slow push and things are gonna be just just fine the, remember I cannot say if this is going to be for us a productive or negative cycle. It will depend on personal performance. If you toil, if you work, you know, and if you do what is necessary, what you have planned, then things are going to be very favorable. If you slack, if you make excuses, Scorpio, you know, if you try to cut corners and to find more productive way than the one that you think right now before the the, uh, the moon starts that's not a good uh, that, that is not a good performance so if you want to make any adaptations to your plans do do them before the 5th of april uh, that's my point here so that was about scorpio now let me shuffle guys and we are going to uh sagittarius So Sagittarius is the first card for you guys that is going to be the um, Six of Swords, which is the prime card, followed by the uh, Wheel of Fortune, first catalyst that we do have here, and then the second catalyst that is going to be the Knight of, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So very interesting reading for you uh, from one side, well basically the reading points to that um, you will, uh, throughout these couple of weeks, Sagittarius, uh, something definitive is going to change with your environment in the sense of options available. Uh, current options available will no longer be, uh, will be available. However, they are to be replaced with new options available. Giving you straight away an example of that, guys, is that let's say that you hope to start a, a work into one company, but suddenly that company com calls you and says, we cannot hire you. Well, God damn it, you know, you, you kind of like feel despondent for a couple of days but that leaves a room for another company to approach you. It is just, you know, uh, in these couple of, uh, of weeks, 5th of April to 19th of April, options available for you are to swap places, are to change and will allow you to traverse certain thresholds, career-wise or relationship-wise. We do have here a, a great change happening with these couple of cards, but it will require your... Um, your heroism and as well, uh, how can I place it? Yeah, it's 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 a lack of fear because it will seem uh, that you taking advantage of these new circumstances jeopardize and risks a lot of your environments, like risk your relationship, like uh, you know, risk your or, or your career. Giving you an example, you receive an offer to work 
for a company in another state if you are uh, living in the United States and you are afraid that this is going to impact your marriage for example in a negative way well these cards are pointing here that there is nothing that you should be afraid of it is just you know something in your mind additionally to that with these cards it does look like that you will have this time around and an opportunity to cut a lot of corners to make things much easier than the things actually should be made um, and and uh, for some of you, that will be also a, a time where they're to receive a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. But definitely your, your life, your environment, your situation is going to stir itself a big, big time, giving you the means necessary to improve your circumstances, either career wise or either relationship wise. Uh, but with these cards, guys, uh, because uh, that... Uh, that formation here it is a active uh, active enemies it seems that not everybody will be on the same page with you or they will be able to keep up with your motion and uh, that is one of the requirements here to uh, take advantage of this new uh, extraordinary means that you should not slow your motion just because someone cannot keep up with you or just because someone does not want to do what you are doing it's it's gonna be a time for you Sagittarius is where you are going to see who is behind who is behind you or have your back that is or who basically it's it's around you just because you know you have a, a cumulative path right now but it is time at this point your path your paths to part ways or to separate so don't mourn guys um, if you know people were walking away from your life or that you cannot maintain communication or relationship with these people it is for the greater good uh, and for what it seems it, it will present you with a like I said a new new opportunities things are I would say more complex than you think but you are going to get the hang of it very very quickly should you have that um, exploring type of spirit not afraid not being afraid from what the future holds uh, for them so um, that was about um, Sagittarius now let me uh, shuffle the cards and we are to see what awaits Capricorns Alright, so Capricorns, the first card for you that is going to be the Judgment, followed by the first catalyst that we do have here that is to be the Four of Swords, and the second catalyst, this is going to be the Eight of Cups. So first formation that is to be a active uh, friends, second formation we do have active enemies. So uh, these cards will allow you to resuscitate a, a situation in your life, make a reconciliation, reunion, cooperation, or something that it is about to uh, it is about to be inevitably lost here and lost for good will be you will have the chance to resuscitate it. Like, like I said, you know, reconciliation or stabilizing into your career and into your job or just making a cooperation with a certain people. Now, what is important, however, is the reasons behind it. And if we're talking about reconciliation with an ex or with a business partner, that is, uh, it will take a, a lot of conversations in between one another. That is from this uh, from this combo here. Uh, the uh, the judgment and the four of uh, swords because uh, you will have to basically not it is not like being on the same page you know but you need to lead those um, fruitful conversations where you find a, a common ground or a common goal uh, it is not like you have to be uh, agreed 
to everything with one another, but yet some compromises needs to be achieved. It's basically, you are to become whole with something. That is my point here, Capricorns, uh, in this uh, lunar cycle. You are to receive the wake up call from these cards, from these couple of cards. And as we do have a um, active enemies with these two, it means that the situation is not beyond repair. And at that point, 5th of April to 19th of April, you should not seek a new perspective, but try to fix the perspective that you are about to lose. You haven't lost it yet, but you are about to lose it if you don't do anything about it. Maybe till that point, you did not know what to do or you didn't have the opening to do anything about it. Well, now in 5th of April to 19th of April, Capricorns, you are going to have the chance to do something about it. Are you brave enough? Well, that depends entirely on you. Another thing what these cards are pointing is that you should you have any kind of issues that can be helped through a, a therapeutic help, then you have to go there or through a, a professional help. Meaning you have an anxiety, go to a psychotherapist, you know, or a shrink or whatever you call it. You do have problems in your marriage, go to a couple's therapist. You're experiencing deterioration in your health, go to a doctor. Don't... Um, don't expect guys that things are to solve themselves on um, on their own accord uh, with these cards but should you go to some to someone who knows what things are about then a, a way out is going to be presented but definitely there is a, a way how you can traverse any kind of uh, difficult situation right now in your life into a, a prosperable one and to make you know, a resuscitation of one's career, of one's um, um, social circle, you name it, or of one's uh, relationship throughout the uh, new moon into Aries. So next one that is going to be Aquarius. So the first card for Aquarius, guys, that is going to be the two of the two of wands, followed by the uh, second card that is going to be the three of swords, and then what we do have that is going to be the uh, king of swords, the second catalyst. So what we have here is that Aquarius needs to recognize in these couple of weeks that the achievements that they have uh, at their or kind of like the achievements that they have reached are great but Aquarius should not stop there, but Aquarius needs to continue on developing these exciting skills Aquarius have. So meaning you are going to be mentored throughout these uh, couple of weeks with these couple of cards. Uh, King of Swords and the Two of Wands as a prime card. Formation that is active, uh, active friends. This is going to be a very respected person, someone who has the means, someone who do has the uh, the connections. They're very analytical mind, a, a very smart and wise person who knows what is needed in order to push one thing through or something through, and as well is going to help you discover your true limits through conversations. That is so that. That is a, a person who will not be uh, involved directly into your matters, but it could be a, a teacher of yours, you know, if you are in a university, it could be as well a friend of yours who who is to help you with your business, with some business advices and so on and so forth. And uh, having these uh, these two cards here, Aquarius, is, it doesn't look like that the difficulty of the task is going to be something that, uh, that is going to stop you moving on. With these couple of cards, the more difficult and the more tough one task is, the more aggressive and the more determined to... Um, how can I place it? To bring that thing to its end, you are going to be. Throughout this lunar cycle, Aquarius, it seems that a lot of new horizons are to open 
for you. You are not ready yet, however, guys, to conquer them, but you can learn how to, and these cards are pointing that you are to do so. I mean that you are to learn how to, uh, how to conquer those things. Uh, now, one thing I want to say on more uh, personal level here is that these cards could indicate a um, uh, an option available for friends with benefits, especially with these two. King of Swords, if it manifests itself as a love interest, the king doesn't care about emotions, all that he cares is about a, um, a physical representation. So at that stage at least, uh, deep commitment with these cards is rather impossible and especially you have to be very careful because we do have the Three of Swords into a boosted position which could indicate a severe heartbreak or a heartache if you are allowed to be involved into a friend with benefits but you did have something else in mind so don't be blinded by your emotions but think rationally and think analytically here. Other than that, it seems that you are to make good progress, especially in a tough task, complex tasks, uh, complex tasks and tasks which uh, are cornering you against the wall. Uh, the more cornered you are, the more uh, productive you are to be. So to give you an example of that, your boss calls you into... Um, into their office and they tells you look that is your last chance you know if you don't do the project right then you are gone that puts you with your back against the wall you know and your performance is going to be flawless and maybe it's what it takes maybe this cycle is going to put you in a such situations so you can expand your limits because one limits can be expand only when one is uh, working you know on their outer limits how can i know how can i place it well one is put into a stressful situation and uh, last but not least what we have is uh, pisces so let me shuffle the cards Right, so the first card for Pisces that is going to be the Hierophant, followed by the second card which is the Devil, and the third card that we do have that is going to be the King of Wands. So it seems Pisces that this uh, this week you are going to receive a benevolent support, and on top of that you are to resolve a lot of current issues which are to be resolved in the existing framework of time, or in a sense with the existing um, with the existing means and solutions. Uh, available. On top of that, it seems that you are to lead a, a very, very meaningful conversations with people and as well, you know, with people who can give you options available. That is displayed with these couple of cards here, formation that is passive neutrals. However, it doesn't look like that you are going to be uh, very enthralled by those, uh, by, those, by those new options available. And instead, with the new, how can I place it, with the new cleared environment out of difficulties and out of troubles, you are to obtain a, a very, how can I place it, unstoppable and yet uncontrollable power here with that formation, the Hierophant and the Devil forming passive supporters. So this uh, this particular tremendous power is going to linger for a very, very long period of time in you, so you will have the full control upon your life in a sense of that you will be able to alter outcomes because for example the emperor is as well having a full control upon your life but the emperor it is more like dealing with the outcomes you know and and reaching them while here it seems that you will have the power to change and alter your outcomes now the thing with these cards however pisces is that you may have that sense that if you choose something different or choose to do thing in a different way it could have been better with with these couple of cards with the devil itself but also paired with the hierophant um 
maybe the, the, the sense of that you made the wrong choice could be a little bit more exaggerated. One other thing I want to advise you here for this uh, lunar cycle, a new moon in Aries, is to be mindful about your behavior because your behavior at some points could be very tyrannical and very, um, how can I place it, uh, very demanding at certain points, especially with the Hierophant there. It seems that when you make up your mind, there won't be anything to strive you away even if that something else comes from someone with higher experience and with higher capabilities that is so what these cards point here uh, Pisces is that you're gonna find um, or you are to define your way in this uh, new moon into Aries period of time and you are to find out is it gonna work or is it not gonna work but the very but the very least guys is that uh, this period of time is it will allow you to resolve a lot of uh, a lot of current issues of yours uh, another thing that i want to remind you here or to advise you with these cards is to not jeopardize the trust that people have in you very important especially with the hierophant card and should you um should you indulge yourself with a, with a romantic relationship throughout this period of time, love is circumstantial. Uh, what will truly matter is how reliable and how trustworthy you are to each other. You can love each other, but the tr but if you don't trust your partner or your trust or your partner doesn't trust you, love cannot manifest. So throughout this lunar cycle, if it is about love, you are to find a, a brand new and true meaning of love itself so that being said guys this was uh, the uh, forecast for new moon into Aries cycle starting April 5th and ending April 8th and 19th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you want a, a personal reading with me you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list for, of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the, for the live readings one. Uh, if you want a, a personalized tarot report with the five card tarot spread, a bit complex, much more complex than this one, the time perf that I performed here, the option is there, it's called uh, personal, tar personal full new moon tarot report. I think is the third option at the first row left to right and uh, there you are going to have you are to subscribe for the next um, full and new moon uh, period of time to be sent a personal tar report so that being said I'm signing out now see you around bye